It has been five years since the start of the Tubbs fire in the North Bay. Flames burned more than 36,000 acres and destroyed more than 5,600 homes and businesses, including the Paradise Ridge Winery. Today, the winery is sharing its new space with the community to commemorate those harrowing days. In 2017, flames from the Tubbs fire burned Paradise Ridge Winery in Santa Rosa to the ground. The owners were able to reopen in December 2019, right before COVID hit. They say they've been through a lot in the last few years. I hadn't had a lot of time to reflect on the, on, you know, kind of what we went through in the rebuilding process. We want to thank the community for their support of us and also give them recognition for how resilient they've been, how quickly we've rebuilt and and what a bright future we have. Today, the owners organized an event to commemorate the start of the Tubbs fire and the community's resilience. Local and state leaders were there. One of the owners says although the Tubbs fire was devastating and deadly, it helped the community learn to better prepare for disasters. And we learn from our mistakes as a community, you know, about, you know, how to deal with this, like, uh, you know, getting out early warning signs, you know, communication to uh, the community. You know, two years after the Tubbs fire, we had another big fire called the Kincaid fire that uh, here in Sonoma County, everyone was pretty sure that we were going to lose parts of Windsor and Healdsburg, but because of what we learned in the two years since the Tubbs fire, a lot was saved because of mostly early warning, letting people know to get out. The only part of the winery that didn't burn was a sculpture garden, and miraculously, most of the vines survived. While Paradise Ridge is open for business, they haven't been able to rebuild their production facility and are still making wine off-site. They're hoping to break ground on a new production facility next year. We're excited about what the future holds for us, and you know, and I feel like I feel like it's a turning point for our community too. And I'm proud of our community. I, I really feel like because we have that common the common act of the fire, you know, really made our community a lot stronger. Okay, so Terry, you remember this. Two other wildfires tore through wine country in Very October well. 2017. The Nuns and Atlas fires. And between the three fires, almost 145,000 acres burned uh, and more than 7,100 structures were destroyed. And you and I were both covering the Tubbs fire when that happened. Didn't know each other at the time. Five years ago uh, mm -hmm. this weekend, I couldn't believe how that fire, the, the wind had to be like a blowtorch. They describe it as that, and that's no exaggeration. It jumped across right. Highway 101. Right, and I remember going there and just thinking, oh my gosh, you can count the homes there by the chimneys. By the chimneys, by that's the, the only chimneys. thing that was left standing. Yeah. It was rest of it was level ash. Well, we're glad that 90% uh, and more of the homes there have been rebuilt. Yeah, and also some lessons learned from that fire that we just heard. Yeah.